episode of Shut Up Dorian, and today I have a special guest, Kayla Hood. What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? I'm Kayla Hood. I'm a fly bitch. I'm 5'2 with light skin, brown ass, long hair. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> so, what I want to talk about today is um, friends. And um, I know it's a, a topic that people like to discuss. Um, people love to give their opinions on it because we're, we're in a time where there are a lot of people who use the word friend so loosely. And, you know, there's a lot of people that just don't trust people. They don't have friends. I know there's um, a lot of females that I know and they don't really like to have other female friends you know it's just different situations for different people um but just generally speaking um I know that today you went live on your Facebook and you had a discussion about friends and it really touched me because you know there were a lot of viewpoints and things that I actually agreed with you on and um one similarity that we did have that i thought was kind of funny is just like um you know because i have two categories i have my best friends and then i have friends and you know your best friends they're they're pretty much like your family you know you love them they love you you know it's more of a like a sibling relationship there and then you have friends that is just you know pretty generic you have you know a work friend a school friend you know your friend from the store or something like that um it's just well i'm pretty sure it's all over the world but i just have seen it a lot around where i stay and I'm so, so, so tired of it, of people calling everybody their best friend. <laughs> like, everybody is not your best friend. There's people in your friend group that are just there to watch you fall, to make sure that you don't go nowhere, to make sure that you don't succeed in life. And like, that is true. They will kick you in your face and just laugh, and you would think that they really are your friend, but they are not. They are just there. To make sure you don't make something of yourself and there's a lot of people that like really legit like be believing these people why do you think it's so hard for people to recognize who are their true friends and who's not they're so blinded they're just blinded by wanting to be friends with somebody and to have somebody and to be connected with somebody this world now is all about connection and it's all about staying in a group it's just a blindness i think it's just people wanting to be friends with somebody so what is a friend to you a friend to me is somebody is there through thick and thin like like hardcore like and when i say thick and thin through thick and thin (laughs) like i know like i said on my video my best friend is d eric and i know if something that was to happen to me right now. Like, I got mugged or I was in the hospital. For any reason, I know that he would drive from Atlanta to Alabama to come and be with me. And vice versa. Um, if, I, if I was $30 short on a power bill, like, I know that I could call him and he could give me $30 for now and I pay him back. And, like, I just feel like the person is there for you. <laughs> No matter what. But also being real, being real with me. If I'm in the wrong and I'm doing something, I need my friends to correct that. Call me out when I'm wrong. Call me out when I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you're not supposed to be that yes man. I think it's so funny how so many people think that people are their friends and it it takes so much for them to find out that they're not because they're not really paying attention to the signs. I have this one person, my friend, I never called her my best friend, but I was so hurt doing it. Like, I cried my eyes out, even though she was not my best friend. She was just somebody that I called my friend. She, um stole my credit card and ran my credit card up and then tried to deny and lie about it and like I was just so hurt by that because you know me and like you know what type of person I am I if you need anything and if I got it you know you got it 
I have a lot of really good friends. Like, I have some really good friends. And one thing about me, I've had my friends for the longest. You don't see me with a new pair of friends every day or next week I'm oh hanging God, out with this. <laughs> It's the same crew all the time. And, you know, it's it's a good thing where you can, you know, maybe you don't talk to your friend all the time. But when y'all do talk, it's like y'all never missed a beat. And for me, that's another thing that's important and key in a friendship. Um, Because, you know, we do have our own lives going on. People, you know, get married. They have children and you know, things change, people fall in love. And you know, that's another topic, love, loving yourself. I remember when people used to be in relationships and not even wanted to say the word because they didn't want to sound, oh, I'm gullible, I'm weak to that person. Nowadays, you know somebody for a week and I love you, yes, I love you, I love this, I love you, I love it, I love that, I love, shut up, like, Shut up. Like, no, it's not love. It's lust. Learn the difference. Just love you. Love you. I think that's a problem with a lot of people, that they don't that's, love themselves. They don't know enough don't about themselves. Love themselves. Like, if you have to, write yourself a list and just sit here and think of the reasons you love yourself. What do you love about yourself? You know, it's all about how you feel. Right. And if you're not in tune with how you feel about things, then you'll constantly like, oh, put things aside and you'll make up in excuses for people's behavior. And you'll allow them to continue to do that. But I just really want people to like listen, like, because it, 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 it's sad out here because there's a lot of people out here that is, that's probably listening right now with they, air quotations, friends. Like, they're probably listening and they're like, oh, well, I'm not going to do that that's the person I'm talking about. Get away. Walk away. Get out of the car. Just jump out the car now. Like, just get out. Those are the people I'm talking about. If they trying to stop you from hearing this message, run. Run. Do you hear me? Run. Oh, my God. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Like, I really appreciate it. This has been very meaningful. I think a lot of people really get something out of this. And, you know, I would like people to like, comment, and share this video and continue the conversation. Let us know what you think about what a friend is, you know, and and different experiences you've had in friendships and, you know, things that you'll accept, things that you won't accept, and what you think about self-love and Let's just keep the conversation going. Once again, thank you, Kayla, for joining me. Thank you so much for having me. Anytime, anytime. Good to hear from you. Yes, you too.